Greetings from Jim, AG6IF. I sliced a little more off of my loop today. We're going to take another look at it. Uh, the very first point I'm wa watching is the impedance, where it's a uh, in, uh, resonant frequency 1.52. We want that to move up. SWR is in red. And the green is the uh, characteristic uh, is the resistance, the R value. Characteristic impedance. Z mag. Okay, uh, so as you can see, uh, Z mag is below the band. The bands are shaded. There's 160 there. There's 80. And there's 40, and so on. We're moving the whole antenna up into the sweet spots. We're putting the sweet spots up where they belong here. Uh, let's see here. Close. Windows is trying to screw me up again. I'm sure you've all had the same problem with it. I need to get a clue. All right, let's rescan this and see what happens. Took about 10 feet off today. Here we go. Before my machine blows up. Here. All right, that moved up. You can see everything moving up. That's the sweet spot moved up. That sweet spot moved up. I got a long ways to cut off, don't I? <laughs> I'm using aluminum wire, and the velocity factors made the antenna a lot longer than it, it needs to be. Thirty meters. Starting to look pretty good on thirty meters. I'm only going up to twenty meters here. The whole thing moves up all the way up to uh, to six, actually. Okay, and fourteen. All right. Well, we went to a uh, resonant frequency. Well, it's claiming one point three, but it looked like it was higher. Five two seven. So anyway, we got a lot more to go. I want this. I want these uh, low SWR sweet spots like here. I want that to be up here. So I either have to make the antenna shorter so this one comes up, or I have to make it longer so this one goes down. And it's already been longer. Uh, so now I'm trying a shorter route. So I might end up with a single wave on 160 before we get done. It's about 900 feet. I thought it should be around 1,200, so I've been trimming it ever since. And it's aluminum wire. So uh, anyway, that's what we got going on. Okay, thanks for watching. Another saga. The saga continues here. Here's all the numbers. This is the name 4170. Very good analyzer. It was a gift for my wife. I would never spend that much on myself. Well, maybe I would. I used to be a pilot, so. I'm still a pilot. I just don't have a plane anymore. Decided so retirement was better. So, anyway, thanks for watching. This is Jim in Dayton, Nevada, AG6IF.